Ashadai Mashida Jamaru Chila Zoga Niku Monma Alo Shaloma. Nigeria Ma Ipiar Kielu Sagari Lu, Jesu Pi Natam Bijaba. Ipiar Kielu Aposa Pita Benyaha. Jamaru Kima, the Arkil and the Chinsa Dukunyako to Chipane. Duma, Prophet Puchet Bonyazo Shipane. Ashad be a dread, Piash and Pide with Yare Yupalungo, Miao Pido Machipare. Ashama. ပြားခင်ထံမှာကျောက်မှပွဲကောင်းတဲ့တိပေးချက်တွေရှိပါတယ်လို့ဆရာကပြောပါတယ်အာရှဘိုဖြစ်စီးပြီးပို့ပို
Because of what is happening right now. You, you might be hearing me for the first time, and I didn't know how correct you are. But if you are you are actually hearing news very well, you will know that everywhere now is scattered right now. What we what you people don't expect to happen is really happening now, right now. Dangerous things are happening right now. And this includes natural disasters and also a war that is tense all over the world. In seeing all these things, I begin to pray especially for the Asians. I begin to pray especially for the Asians. And when I was praying, the Lord showed me revelations. Number one, the Lord told me that He is angry with the Asians. The Lord said that he's angry with the Haitian people. And he said to me that he himself, God himself, Jesus Christ, he said he came to Asia physically. He walked around the Asia himself. And he found that everywhere is filthy and is disgusting to him. The people that are Christians are just worshiping God in heresy, in, in fake. Yeah, it, according to what he said, said, they are practicing fake religions. I want you to imagine something. Imagine Jesus Christ come back. He come down himself and walk around. He went to Thailand. What he could see is all idols. The churches there are very weak, worldly touches and disgusting touches. He went to he, he went to India. The people in India are worshiping God in fake way. He went to Philippines. The same thing is happening there. He went to Burma. The same thing is happening. Everywhere was sweet. He said, My son, there is a lot of rain. A lot of people is being killed. He said, A lot of innocent Lord has been set down in the land of Asia. Many people are just having intercourse. Many marriages are not sincerely joined by him. Iniquity are waxing strong and stronger. 
Many people are divorcing their wife and go and take another woman and marry them. Assuming they even married to that be better, they will not pay their dowry. They will just take them and they begin to sex with the person and have sex and they have children like that. These things are disgusting to God. A lot of atrocity is happening in Asia. Yes, a lot of things are happening in Asia. A lot of things. And the Lord said something to me. He said the blood of the people that have died in Asia. They are all crying for vengeance. And because of this, God is very hungry. He came down himself. I don't know whether you know that Jesus Christ, God usually come down himself to pass through the world sometimes. I don't know whether you are aware of that. There are times that, if you remember in the scriptures, when Abraham has a TV visitor, and, and this TV visitor included God, two angels. And they told Abraham is going to have a son. And after that, they also told him that the country Sodom and Gomorrah is going to be destroyed. And this is what happened now. Jesus Christ personally came to Asia. He went to all the all the country all the country one by one. And everywhere is disgusting. Everywhere is dirtiness. Everywhere is dirtiness. Disgusting. With demonic influences, demonic control, demon everything is disgusting. And the Lord caused Asia. I said, Asia is doomed. God told me. He said, nothing will stop this from happening. There's nothing you can do about it. Even though you break it tomorrow. Even though you fast to tomorrow. Even though you 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 cry to God till tomorrow. God will know hear you. According to what he said. God told me Asia is doomed. He said you shall rise with them with anger. He will destroy them with sicknesses. A lot of different virus. Diseases, uncurable diseases. Their children shall die in their hands. The parent will be slaughtered in the war, battle war. The Lord said, 
He will fight with them with water. There will be flood everywhere. If God said he's going to fight with you with water, it means there will be flood everywhere. I know you will be your mind that, but God said that he will not fight with people with water again. But let me tell you this. He only has the promises that he will not destroy the whole world with water. But is he used water to destroy countries? The Lord said to me, he will destroy them with flood. He will destroy them with war. The Lord said they shall kill themselves. A brother shall see a brother. And shall slaughter his own brother. A sister shall see a, a, a fellow sister. And shall take his fellow sister to be raped. There will be a lot of destructions and scammers. There will be a lot of problems around. Everyone who lives in Asia will be panicking every day. They success themselves to the wall. And God shall use nuclear weapons to destroy them. This message God gave to me. He has been telling me many times. But about a few days ago, he made it so clear. Then after I received this message about the destruction and the doom of Asia, the Lord, I keep on praying. See, when I wake up from that, I keep on praying. On that prayer again, I enter into a revelation. In that revelation, I saw three set of people. Three. Three set of people. We have four sets, second set, third set. I saw that a message was given to them. The four set hear the message and ran out of that place. They ran out of that place. They ran with all their strength. They use everything to have to run out of, of the place. And they ran to where they will be saved. And they were saved. Then they lost from the second set. This second set says something. They said something. They said, ah, they were tossed when they gave the message. But they now said, uh, give us a few time. We are still working. So let us quickly work and sell our property and work. Then the money we use the money to come and uh, uh, to to come and you know to come and live our life in where we shall be safe. And this set, second set, they were destroyed. Only few of them escaped. Then the third set, this third set are the people who hear. This revelation, I saw it very clear and clean. Clear and clean. Very clear and clean. I saw it very clear and clean. This third set, they said, well, <laughs> look at God there. Let's see whether God will save you there. For us, we are going to stay and die here. And just as they have said, they stay and they died. 
Now hear me and hear this message. I want to use this opportunity to tell you that you will run faster. Leave a share you are. Do say, well, I want to leave a share and go to Europe. Don't go to Europe. Oh. Europe is going to be destroyed. Don't go to Europe. Europe is going to be destroyed. Okay, I will go to North America. I will go to South America. Don't go there. They will die there. Sometimes, okay, I will go to Australia. Don't go there. They will die there. So, okay, 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 okay. I will find where to go in Africa. Africa too is going to be destroyed. Only few people will remain in the world. There is only one place. Whether you like it or not. A small place, a very small place. When you saw it, you say, ah, can this place co contain people? A very small mountain. And this mountain is the only one. Why do you like it? Say, ah, what do you want? I'm telling you, only this mountain, only one mountain. That God has shown to me. Where we are right now. And there was a prophecy on that mountain. By old apostles and ministers of God, prophets of God who have died, it, that they prophesied that they will be regarding on that mountain. They said they will be regarding as safety there. The prophecy has been for years. That is where you can come to and you'll be safe. That is the mountain, the only saint mountain in Nigeria. Only that place, even though they are throwing bombs, even though they like and throw nuclear weapons to Nigeria, that place, Jesus Christ said it will be saved. A new generation shall rise from that place. That in that mountain there will be thorough teaching of holiness and righteousness. In that mountain there will be pure holiness and where there will be teaching you the true word of God. The ancient teaching shall be taught in that mountain. In that mountain, Jesus Christ has come down to be with his people. And from that mountain, God Almighty we take people home. It's in Nigeria. Run faster. Do it. Thank God you see what is happening in your country now. There was a time I gave a prophecy about Asia. I told them, I said, people, that this, this thing is going to happen around the world. In the beginning of this year, I also gave a prophecy that I saw death too much everywhere. Now millions of people are dying of flood right now. We are bombing their houses anyhow right now. Be careful. Run faster and get saved. In the name of Jesus, you will not go to hell. Run faster! Run faster! Pa! I come to Nigeria. And you shall be saved. In Jesus' name. Please.
As you are hearing this, share this to every of your family. Your friend and everyone you come across. So that they can be saved. God bless you. Shalom. Shalom. Bye.